if you love yourself, it uh, doesn't matter if anyone else loves you because you will be happy regardless of that. And despite this fact, uh, if you really love yourself, everyone else will love you because for the most part, people treat us the same way that we treat ourselves. And so this is why identity congruence is such an important part of truly happy life because um, it allows you to love yourself. Now, identity congruence means that you are the person that you think you should be ideally. Uh, and a lot of people, you know, are unhappy with themselves because they uh, either don't really know who they are or what they're supposed to be, or they have some uh, idea of themselves that they should be, and they're failing to meet those standards. So the way that we uh, overcome this is by actually working hard to become the person that we are trying to be. And uh, so if you are not someone who has built an identity. I'm going to talk about how to build an identity and become that identity. And if you're someone who already has built an identity, um, we're going to talk about how to rebuild that identity because it's probably wrong, probably all kinds of subjectivity there. Uh, and if you're not too butthurt about that, we can move forward. But first of all, if you don't already have a preconceived idea of who you are as a person, and what you should be uh, behaving as. A good way to think about it is to, to take some time and actually reflect on what you think the ideal person is, the perfect human. Uh, and just think about that. Write that down. Write down, like, what are their qualities? How do they react in different situations? And you can even think about some situations that you've been in where you felt like it was a hard time or maybe you weren't very happy with, with how you reacted or things that you did. Uh, and think, how would a perfect person, uh, an idealized version of yourself, actually uh, act in those situations? Uh, and then the goal is to actually do those things when you come into those situations. Uh, but take some time to write down and think about the qualities of a persona that that you want to become. And slowly over time, like for me, it's been 10 years since I did this exercise uh, that uh, actually 11 now, where I was like, oh, what kind of person uh, should I become? And then I worked hard to become that person. And uh, it's it's just great. Uh, so, so take some time to actually write that down and then actively try to do things. Like every time you see that I'm not doing uh, what I should be doing, which is what the perfect person should be doing, change the behavior. Just, just say, no, I'm not going to do that because this is my identity now. I am going to behave in this ideal manner, and that's more and more joy uh, for the self. Now, if you already have, uh, you know, an idea of yourself, like you're like, I have a way, this is how I do things, uh, that's, that's great um, for building an identity, but the question you need to ask yourself is, are these things reasonable? Or are they just things that are have randomly been tacked onto me and aren't actually useful? Um, so what we really need to establish as part of our identity are things that can be truly permanent and that can give us happiness irrespective of any uh, circumstantial situation, whatever, right? Like, I'll give you an example. Let's say that you attach your identity to um, let's say a, a relationship, you say, oh, you know, my identity is, is, uh, how I am as, uh, you know, a spouse or, or whatever, you know, or as, as a friend. Um, okay. But what, what are the, what are the aspects of that? And, uh, what'll happen if that person leaves you or if your friend abandons you, what, where's your identity now? You know, you're going to say, oh, who I am is, these other people, that's not really useful. Or you could attach your identity uh, unknowingly even to like an object or you're gonna, or like your job, you're gonna say, oh, who am I? I am, you know, some job. I'm, oh, I'm a, I'm a doctor. I'm, you know, uh, a plumber, whatever. 
and and that can be useful uh, because these things are facts but um, something much better to attach to your identity is not things that come and go those things are transient your relationships are transient your occupation is transient your physical possessions all of these things uh, are transient they're going to just come and go and do whatever they want and if and if your identity is attached to any of these things you're going to be affected by that in a negative way so it's more important to attach identity to uh, principles to ideologies uh, so that the best way to really say oh what what am i you know i'm i'm a loving person or you know i'm a humble person you know i'm a kind person i'm a generous person um and you can attach your identity to these intangible things that nobody can take away from you and uh you will always be reflective of those ideas and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with uh, having goals for physical tangible things and i think that you should have goals as as physical tangible things so that you can track your progress but if you if you really want to enjoy yourself to be really happy uh no matter what circumstances life throws at you one to the next because you do not know what life is really going to be like tomorrow you can't control any of that uh much better is to attach your identity to methods of behavior to systems uh to qualities of the human so that in whatever situation you're going to be going through you can always manifest those qualities in different ways and then you'll realize eventually that you are doing everything that you desire to do that in every situation oh i did act this certain way i did behave in a manner that uh is is exactly how i think i should have behaved and when that happens you will actually love yourself you will be like oh this awesome person that i idealized all this time ago uh is actually me this person i thought oh this is the ideal person it's it's actually me and you'll be very happy and content with who you are and you will achieve identity congruence and the cool thing about that is again that after you love yourself uh it takes some time but the world will the world will catch up with you and everyone will love you because again you're projecting that love uh onto yourself and therefore onto everybody else and so that love is just going to keep coming and you're going to truly love life so much.